Hi, I'm Leo. Do you know how easy it is to bring your old jewelry and coins to Family Pond and trade them in for cash? How easy? It's way easy. But Leo, that bracelet is broken. That's okay. But Leo, those coins are really old. They're still worth money at Family Pond. Broken jewelry, old coins, it doesn't matter. Family Pond does not support children sitting on the edge of the counter. Family Pond does, however, support and endorse children, parents, and the selling of gold and silver. Today marks the 41st anniversary of the controversial Supreme Court ruling Roe v. Wade. About 2,000 protesters peacefully marched on the sidewalks outside of Planned Parenthood here in St. George, Utah. We're here every first Saturday of the month from 10 to 12 in prayer, peaceful prayer for all of our uh, precious unborn babies and for their mothers and fathers and the people in the industry in defense of the helpless. And we welcome everybody to come and join us in this peaceful prayer vigil. We can, we're not gonna go away until this goes away. Planned Parenthood is not of God and we are here to defend life. Here. I'm here to support life. There's nothing more fundamental than life on this earth. And whatever we can do to promote life, that's what I'm for. So I'm here out of obligation to my God and myself. Science has proven that human life begins at conception. And um, we, we don't kill animals in the womb. Why would we kill a human being? People do not realize actually how difficult it is for them maybe not immediately, but maybe 10, 15, 20 years later, it, come, it, it is always with them. It will never leave the fact that they have aborted that child. Um, as far as Planned Parenthood is concerned on the day of commemoration of Roe versus Wade, we acknowledge the protesters out front of the um, Planned Parenthood Clinic in St. George have every right to express whatever it is they're expressing. My question to them is, what is their motivation for making women uncomfortable taking care of their health care? Um, I don't understand um, why they think that it's appropriate in humiliating and harassing those women. The abortion services that we provide at Planned Parenthood at a health center here in Salt Lake are less than 1% of the services that we provide to over 56,000 men and women in Utah every year. John Tees reporting from 600 South Bluff Street in St. George, Utah for St. George News.